Like Christmas, it's an event that seems to start earlier every year. The BBC's annual Children in Need appeal is still a couple of months away, but the serious fundraisers are already hard at it. People like 26-year-old Paul Brightwell from Alston in Cumbria. He regularly puts his own difficulties aside to help support his favourite charity. His efforts have inspired local people to make their own film about him. John Williams reports on the unassuming star of an unusual DVD. Paul Brightwell has many friends, and they've made him the star of his own special video. Paul has Down syndrome, but far from living his life on the fringes of society, he's frequently found enjoying the limelight, jamming on blues harmonica with the musicians at his local pub. That is, when he's not helping out in the bar, or working at a nearby outdoor pursuit centre. But at this time of year, Paul's usually out on the streets of Alston, collecting for children in need. He's been fundraising for the past six years, and captured on video here, dressed up as his favourite TV chef, Jamie Oliver. Hello, Paul. Yeah. What are you after? Oh, so do it to me. There you go, then. You know that want an ice cream? Uh, yeah. One flake or two? Uh, two. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's about £150. Yeah. Yeah, and that's what you collected this year. Yeah, I did. And, and plus, when you were filming, yeah. and you were walking up down the street, people were there putting the money in, weren't they? Oh, yeah, I did. And so it kept building up and up. Yeah. Yeah. The video, called Down But Not Out, was made and narrated by local businessman Jim Collins with the help of his daughter Jenny, who are both inspired by Paul's hard work and generous spirit. Well, Paul is, is, is a real helpful character. You, you can often see him walking around the town carrying the bags for the older people, takes it down home, uh, puts it in house for them, and uh, takes the dogs out for a walk, and all those kind of things. Uh, he's just really a friendly character. He's, I mean, I walk into the pub sometimes and he comes up to us and he greets us and he, he's just so friendly and nice. Paul's parents moved to Alston when he was a toddler and fought hard for him to receive mainstream education rather than to be sent away to a special school and they're convinced that's what's helped him to become such a well-integrated and popular member of the community. He's went to normal school all of his life, and the children at school who are now grown up, they all love him, and it's just went on from there. Well, you've got no regrets of the struggle that we had to get, to get him where he is, that he, he is the person he is, and it is worked 100% but also partly through the people of Olsen who have helped tremendously. Paul's hoping to stage a concert for this year's Children in Need. And there's no doubt Paul himself will be up there on stage enjoying the limelight once again. Shut that down, boy! <laughs> Great, and plans for Paul's Children in Need concert are moving ahead fast. It's going to be in Alston Town on October the 21st, so if you're in the area, go along, give me your support. Now, I know, Jeff Sunderland have had a great result, but, you know, I haven't mm. even heard the result of Newcastle.